What's going on, y'all? Jordan Lolly here, Jordan Lolly Basketball, and I want to talk to you guys uh, today about the preparation, kind of the mindset behind training an NBA athlete versus training like an amateur athlete, or even like a, a semi-professional or professional FIBA athlete. Um, I want you guys to understand that very, very rarely will I change the way that I teach, but me teaching doesn't always mean that the drills are going to be the same, and the thought process and the uniqueness behind uh, the training doesn't change. So uh, the way that I teach is going to be the same from an amateur to a professional, and that's detail orientation, make sure that I, I engage with my client, I find what makes them tick and what makes them learn. If I have a visual learner on my hands, do I have a descriptive or an audible learner on my hands? Do I need to engage more uh, from a physical standpoint? Do I need to engage more just from a vocal standpoint and, and be a little bit, you know, tone back on? Those are all gonna change regardless of, of level. But I wanna make sure that you guys understand that the preparation finding an, an MBA athlete will differ. And the reason being is because that NBA caliber player, if they're not a, uh, an all-star, a superstar uh, athlete who gets that freedom and flexibility uh, within their game, you have to be able to put them in a little bit of a box. Now, notice I didn't say you have to put them in a box. This is just a portion of what the NBA is looking for. You have to make sure that when you go through your training regimen, if you have a 3 and D guy, that you focus a majority of your training on those aspects that are going to get, uh, allow them to get a contract and hold their contract. So if I'm working with a, a guy who gets on the court and he plays solid defense and he's got a knockdown a three-point shot, we'll spend about 75% of our time on 3 and D mentality, 3 and, three and D mechanics to make sure that he's able to receive a contract, and then hold that contract. And then the rest of that time that we spend together, 25%, will be on other mechanics that are gonna help develop, uh, kind of raise his baseline. So we wanna be able to, to raise that benchmark for him as a player, not allow him to have any deficits or any liabilities on the court. And those 25% of, uh, of his game, or her game, will be ball handling, different shooting mechanics, stop separation mechanics, being able to finish around the rim uh, certain ways, focusing on different moves. Okay, now if I'm working with, say, a FIBA pro um, or even like uh, an amateur player, I'm going to try to kind of get them out of their box and, and get them a little bit more comfortable doing more. So we'll probably split it. We'll still have an idea of where they are on the court, where their coach utilizes them throughout their or within their team, but we'll probably split it 50 and 50. So we'll have 50% of what they see on a normal basis and how they go through their, their daily games or uh, the, the situations they have throughout their daily games. But we're also gonna give them 50% of new items where they can develop and, and expand the game because they have not reached their ceiling yet. So there's potential of getting a better contract, there's potential of, of getting a better offer or playing at a higher level. And that's why we have to alter the way that we, way that we train. At the NBA level, they've reached the top, so you have to keep them at the top from an amateur setting or maybe in a FIBA setting, not all FIBA players, okay, they still have or could possibly have a little bit higher to go, so we want to make sure that we keep that adaptive. Hope this helps you guys, hope this gives you guys a little bit of perspective on the mindset behind a trainer and whether we have an NBA player in the gym, a WNBA player in the gym, or an amateur level uh, player. So cool how you guys can see a little bit about how our brains work um, and I hope this gives you a little bit more insight on the training industry. Take care guys. God bless. See y'all soon.